So you're going to pick what size containers you want and then you're going to put them where you want them obviously. So now I'm going to take a little bit of black or it doesn't really matter what color. You can also use a pencil and just lightly mist around your containers just so you have a good idea of where your planets are going to be. So there I have my bigger planet and there I have my smaller planet. So now we decide what colors we want our planets so this one I want it to look more like earth so I'm gonna do blue green and then white over it for the clouds for this one I'm gonna do like black and white for like a moon so I'm gonna start with this one Let's see I'm gonna start off with some blue And then I'm going to cover the entire planet in white. And that's typically what you want to do. You want to uh, cover your whole planet in white last after you do your colors. Then I'm going to take my material, which I'm using a plastic bag, and I'm going to lay it over my planet to give it its texture. That looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more white because I'd like to see a little bit more clouds in there. Alright, that looks pretty cool. I actually forgot the green, but you know what? That looks cool as it is. So, I'm going to leave it like that. So, now I'm going to move on to my moon. So, first thing I'm going to use is obviously black. Now, I'm going to spray it with white and then add our texture. We have completed step one, we're done with planets, now we're going to let it dry and then we'll step, move over to step two, which is our shading and our highlights. Alright, our paint has dried, now we're going to move on to step two, the shading and the highlights. So I'm just going to grab my containers and put them right back over my planets. There we go, and I'm going to take some more black paint or whatever color and do the same thing we did in the beginning. Just lightly mist around your containers so that you know where your planets are going to be. Then I'm going to take these containers back off. Now I know where my planets are. So I'm going to start with shading. So depending on where you want your light source coming from, in this case I'm going to have my light source coming from the top left corner so I know my shading needs to be on the bottom right corner of my planets and the highlights need to be on the top. Alright so let's just shade this bottom edge. Now I'm going to do our highlights. All right, there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing with step two. We're just going to, or step one, we're just going to let it dry. Some professionals speed up the drying process with fire, but um, we're not going to do that in this video. We're going to let it dry the old fashioned way. Our paint is dry. Now we're going to move on to step three, out of space, the final step. So I'm going to take my containers and put them back over my planets and put them back over as perfectly as possible. Oh. 
All right, looks good. Now we are going to take our black paint and we are going to paint the entire canvas black. There's our outer space. Now let's add flex and stars. I'm gonna add some purple. Some dark blue. Some light blue. Some white. And there we go. And now I am going to add our stars. And there are two ways you can add stars. You can either spray your glove and flick stars on like that. Or if you have a nozzle like this, then you can gently press down on the nozzle until it squirts out paint rather than sprays out paint. So I'm going to try that. And you don't have to do this, but if you would like to add a light source, basically all you need is a cutting board or a piece of cardstock paper, uh, basically something you can spray paint against. So I want my light source coming from here, so I'm just going to put my board like this and spray against the board with white spray paint, and it'll give me the look I'm looking for. Just be careful that when you do this, you don't let your paint drip off. Alright, we have our planets, we have our light source, we have our stars, we have our flicks. Now let's remove our planets and see what it looks like. There's one planet. Looks pretty cool. Here's our second planet. Looks pretty cool as well. Alright, now we just let it dry and then our masterpiece is complete. Alright, our paint is dry and our masterpiece is finished. This one definitely turned out different than uh, any other one that I've done before. It's a little bit more messy and chaotic, but that's okay because space is messy and crazy. I will say that um, black Rust-Oleum paint is very strong so if you don't want the black to overtake some of your other colors like it kind of did in this one I wouldn't use Rust-Oleum black I would use say Krylon which I should have used but oh well I think it looks pretty cool anyway